Hi, it's Jim from Javelin here, and if you'll remember last time, I showed you how to make an, uh, uh, the core for a Magic 8-Ball. Basically what we did was we tried to copy that feature onto another face, but it gave us an error because the sketch text tries to line itself up with the other sketch text. Last time we got around this by dissolving the sketch text, but this time I'm going to show you the better way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new part, and I'm going to save this as a library feature part. My first step. So it, auto it automatically drags, drags me to my uh, feature design library. So I'm going to make this a feature, and I'm just going to call it Jim, conveniently enough. And I'm going to create a sketch. And my first sketch is just going to be basically the existing the existing feature. So make that the midpoint. All three of these are equal. And it's 50 millimeters. So this simulates one of the one of the faces on that on that uh, icosahedron. All right. So just make it five, just for the sake of things. Okay. So now what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a new sketch. And create some reference reference lines. I'm going to be very careful because what I want to do is I want to avoid having things like horizontal relations because those will come back and haunt me later. Instead I want to use things like midpoint relations. So you can see I only have midpoint and a coincident relation that I don't really need in here. So now no matter how this is oriented it will it'll always it'll always come true this way. So I'm going to pick on this and I'm going to make my my text here. I can say anything really. I'll just give a little bit of a gap there at the start just so I don't run into any issues when I go and try and cut this. So I'm going to create an extruded cut half a millimeter deep and say OK. So now I've got a text text that says anything. Alright, so now what I want to do is because you'll notice when I save this as a as a library feature part that my icon up here has changed so now it's got a couple of library books. So what I want to do is that tells me that I've got different different kinds of behavior here in the tree. So I'm going to right click where it says cut extrude and I'm going to go down here and it says add to library. And you'll notice the icon now has a green L above it. That's going to be important in a minute. But so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to save it and I'm going to close it. Okay, so now we're back here at the icosahedron and I'm going to expand out the design library and if I go to features you'll see I've got Jim here I've, so I've navigated to it using the design library and I'm just going to drag this in, I'm just going to drag in anything and drop it there and it has, it's basically asking me for three different edges so you can see from the preview it's asking me for the right e or left edge so I'm going to pick on that left edge and then I'm going to pick on the right edge, and then I'm going to pick on the top edge, and these are just basically the edges that I had those sketch relations applied to. And you can see that it's au it's it's automatically oriented that based on those three uh, based on those three edges. I'm just going to do that again for you. Drag in the feature. I can even put this on a on a bit of a sideways angle, so it doesn't necessarily have to be all in the same direction. This makes sure that it always it's always oriented the same way relative to that triangle, and it also means it's not tied down any other way. But here's where it really gets interesting: is I can expand this out, and I can double click on it, I can edit this sketch, and I can change the text. So it says, "Good news." Rebuild it, and it doesn't affect other fe other. Uh, instances of this library feature. Do that again for you. Go in here, edit the sketch, edit the text, Oops. double click on that. There we go. Better news. So, there you go. Now your, now your magic 8-ball can have different fortunes on each face.